Hi, Lindy Berry here. I'm coming at you to show you some of my before, my pre-op preparations. Um, I have a two-week liquid diet coming up, but that's two weeks prior to surgery. So right now, I'm a little bit less than four weeks prior. And I decided to go ahead and do some surgeries to get myself in the best health possible um, because I believe that the healthier I am before surgery, the healthy I will easier I will have recovery and I want an easy recovery I've got six kids <laughs> did I mention that before yeah I've got six of them and so I don't have time to be laying around sick so let's see if I can do everything I can do and we'll see how smoothly things go you guys can find out if any of this made a difference so anyway first thing I did was a liver cleanse I'm using some Unda numbers they are a homeopathic remedy which you know, when I first read about homeopathics, I, um, anyway, I thought it was a bunch of nonsense until they started working. And then I was like, oh, okay, well, if it works, it works. So anyway, the nice thing about it is you don't have to, you don't have to like eat something or not eat something or take it at a certain time of day or there's no rules. You just take it every day. Well, I guess that's one rule. You just take it every day. And anyway, after about a month, my liver is completely cleansed and, or is, it, I don't know completely, but it's very cleansed. And usually my allergies are gone by the time I'm done. So everybody knows a nice healthy liver is good to have before surgery, which is um, something the surgeon even tells you. So anyway, I went ahead and just finished that one. Now I'm doing a gallbladder cleanse because 50% of people who go through weight loss surgery end up having to lose their bladder in the next year or two afterwards. <laughs> Not their bladder, their gallbladder. Did I say bladder? Their gallbladder. <laughs> That'd be bad to lose your bladder. Anyway, my gallbladder cleanse is, it consists of drinking apple juice every day. I know, did I tell you I like easy cleanses? But truthfully, actually, I don't really like juice. So it's not as easy as it sounds. The first day I was so nauseous. We have to drink like a quart of apple juice a day, which this is a quart. And I mix it with protein powder because it's the only way I can handle drinking juice, honestly. So um, anyway, at the sixth day, you're supposed to have some Epsom salts, like a tablespoon or something. I'll have to look at my paperwork. You look it up online. Maybe I'll put a link below the video. Uh, to the cleanse I did doesn't mean I'm endorsing it uh, for any health reasons I mean check with your doctor and you know all that good stuff because I'm not a doctor and um, anyway so I'll be mixing some Epsom salts with water on the sixth day and that just cleans you right out so that um, oh the apple juice softens the stones the Epsom salts cleans you right out so that when you when the stones uh, are flushed out they can actually get all the way flushed out and not reabsorbed and then you take like a big, like, I don't know how much it is, like a cup or something. It's going to be awful. Be a big thing of olive oil. And that triggers your gallbladder to flush out any stones that you have. So that I can start this process with as healthy a gallbladder as possible. So yay for that. And we'll see if I can keep my gallbladder. Um, anyway, after that, I decided to do a parasitic cleanse. I kind of came across it on an accident. <laughs> When I was looking up whether I could eat sushi after having uh, surgery. And um, I still haven't found the answer to that. <laughs> but what I did find is that people who eat sushi or walk around barefoot often have parasites in their bodies. Not like huge tapeworm ones like you've heard about. But usually like, usually like less, you know, more inconspicuous parasites. But they can still cause a lot of fatigue and make it so that healing goes slower so anyway I decided to just clean out the you know compacted gunk on the inside of my intestines which is what parasites live off of and um, and just clean out any parasites I might have so I ordered this thing called di I do not know how to say that diatonic uh, to the, the, the earth <laughs> I ordered this if you can read it anyway I just put it in this little container because when I ordered it on Amazon, I thought I was getting a container like the size of my Epsom salts, but really it was like this huge container. <laughs> so be ye warned, if you buy on Amazon, it may show up and be huge. So I just filled a little container and gave the rest away <laughs> because apparently it's good for other things too. So my sister is going to use it in her garden. 
So anyway, um, so I'm going to be taking a little bit of this diatomaceous earth every day and that should, it's not a pesticide or anything. It just, it just like slices up the, it like gets rid of the parasites, kills them. They hate it. So, and it's totally organic and natural and good. So that will be easy too. I won't have to change anything other than just taking that every day. So that's pretty awesome. And next video, I will show you some of the things that I am getting ready for some of the things that I am accumulating to get ready for my two week liquid cleanse, which is something that the surgeon has told me to do. And then uh, maybe later I will also show you some of the things that I am accumulating to help repair things after surgery. So, all right, see you later.